Welcome folks, this is Tom O'Brien at TFNN, broadcasting live out of beautiful San Francisco at the Hard Asset Show. Uh, great weather in San Francisco, come in, it's thundering, bottom line. We have the, the resources out here, and our guest today, coming back to TFNN, uh, Bob Archer. Bob is the uh, president, CEO of Great Panther Silver. Welcome back to TFNN, Bob. Thanks, Tom. It's great to see you again. Great to see you. You know, uh, last time we, we had you on, I mean, you know, Silver's always been making a great run, mm -hmm. but oh my God, the last six weeks. Yeah, it's been amazing. Incredible, just, right? Yeah, it really has. It's like catching a, a tsunami or something, you know, just ride the wave. Tell the folks exactly what does Grey Panther, where do you do business, and how much do you produce right now? Mm -hmm. Well, Great Panther is a primary silver producer, as you know. We have 200% uh, owned uh, mines in Mexico, and uh, the company is, uh, is profitable at the moment. Uh, we're producing this year roughly 2.3 million ounces of silver equivalent, and uh, we produce about 70% silver by revenue, about 23% gold, and just a small amount of lead and zinc. So we're, we're very much a precious metal company with a focus on silver. You've really been ramping it up. I mean, that's pretty incredible, right? Yeah. Can yeah. you tell the folks a little bit about, I mean, you got a unique story. You know, how did you basically get those mines? Well, if we, uh, my business partner is a Mexican mining engineer, okay. and he and I started looking in Mexico in late 2002, and uh, we settled on the Topia Mine as our first acquisition. Yes. It was uh, privately owned, uh, dormant at, at that time because of uh, low metal prices, sure. uh, and uh, that allowed us to acquire the mine at a reasonable price, and it was around about the time that we took the company public, and then uh, we followed up a year later with the acquisition of our Guanajuato Mine, which had been owned by a mining cooperative for about 65 years and they had got themselves in a bit of financial trouble, were facing bankruptcy, and then once again that presented an opportunity for us to step in and, and acquire 100% of the, of the mine. Amazing. So. And, you know, geology-wise, it's amazing how much silver and me metals in general in, in Mexico, isn't it? It really is. Uh, I mean, silver, or Mexico rather, is, uh, uh, Mexico and Peru are the top two silver producing companies or okay. countries in the world. Okay. And um, there are more primary silver mines in Mexico than any other country in the world. Wow. So for a, a primary silver producer, I mean, that's, that's obviously a great place to, to be. Yeah. You know, uh, and, and in this case, because you need the talent too, right? You need, yes. you need the talent, yeah. you need the resources, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Mexico has a long tradition of mining and uh, has a really good pool of, of skilled uh, mining professionals. And uh, so it's uh, it's a great place to operate. I mean, the government is extremely supportive. Yes. They, they welcome foreign investment. They've got a good good mining act. And uh, they're, you know, it's just generally a great place to work. Now, uh, mm -hmm. last uh, six, seven weeks, you've had a lot of great news out there. Tell us about great the news. Tom, yeah. Uh, I think the last time we spoke, uh, we had just put out some uh, some really strong uh, assay results from yes. the last part of about an 8,000 meter drill program at our Topia mine, where we're uh, extending the uh, the veins and uh, increasing the resources, and we should have a new resource update out on that before the end of the year. And uh, just more recently, uh, over at our Guanajuato operations, we have a satellite uh, property there called San Ignacio. It's only about five kilometers west of the main complex, and uh, it's about 20 kilometers by road. But um, <coughs> we've been doing some uh, preliminary drilling over there, and we've effectively made a brand new discovery. Uh, it's really, really exciting because uh, we've uh, only released two holes so far, Okay. but uh, very good continuity between the holes, uh, showing uh, the veins going down to 330 meters vertical, uh, getting very high grades. Uh, the, the deepest intersection was 704 grams silver and 4.5 grams gold over 7.5 meters. That's so amazing. So it was uh, a very strong uh, intersection and um, on veins that had never been drilled, never been explored before. So uh, we have four kilometers or so of uh, strike length on these veins and much, a lot of parallel veins and uh, it's, it's very, very exciting for us. When you're, when you're looking um, at a vein, and mm -hmm. you know, it, it, we have veins in our hands or everywhere. when you're looking at a vein, can you actually see the silver right in the vein when you're looking at it? It's, um, it's not always native silver, okay. uh, but you can see the silver minerals, yes. I uh, see. It's often okay. argentite, uh, acanthite, uh, you know, different types of silver minerals. Uh, so you can, you can see them generally, yes. And yeah. so it, you take those different types of minerals, and that's when you, you're bringing that out, and that's when you basically put it in the mill, then, then that, the silver comes right out. Right, yeah, that's correct. And, and taking dirt out of the ground now, mm -hmm. expense-wise, right, what, what, are you, what are the expenses to take it out of the ground and basically get it to market? Um, our costs at, uh, at Guanajuato, for example, are running around uh, $70 uh, per ton, um, but uh, 
on on a cost per ounce basis at uh, at Guanajuato, we're uh, under six dollars. Uh, Amazing, per, right? Per ounce. So uh, you know, throw in a few extra bucks for exploration, development, capex, all that sort of thing. And uh, certainly with uh, twenty-seven dollars so our, our profit margins are, are looking pretty good. That's right huge. Now. Yeah. Now it's really unique, also that, as you said, these are new veins, new mines, mm -hmm. and we know that Mexico does have it all. And I guess you know, in your business, meaning even a geology business, mm -hmm. is the best place to find it is where it's been. Absolutely, and it's you know it's still remarkable to me that uh, where we've made this discovery is in what's called the La Luz district, just west of Guanajuato itself. Okay, and that was actually the location of the first discovery of silver in that particular region in the year 1548. So you know we're talking 100 and s or 462 years ago is where silver was first discovered there, and yet we can still come in now and uh, with with a different approach and, and yeah. uh, you know the drilling technology and everything that we can still make a, a brand new and very significant discovery. Yeah, because so the technology very, makes very a difference exciting. too, doesn't it? Yeah, and and the fact that the previous owners were cooperative and they didn't um, they didn't spend any money on exploration and drilling and that type right. of thing. So they, there's a small uh, small mine on that property. And um, it uh, never really produced very much. No and reason it's going to be in Monster they now, had, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it uh, could very well be. I mean, uh, um, our neighbors uh, on that project are Endeavor Silver, and uh, they right. are currently expanding their mine right there. Uh, and that gives us some indication of the uh, of the potential uh, for that district. Now, the last time we were together, you were just minting silver coins, silver yes, bars, that's right. yes. and I know you've been to Europe, you've been traveling quite a bit, so mm -hmm. tell us, we, uh, you, you got them minted, you just showed me one, it's beautiful. Right, yes, uh, we've, uh, we've minted the one ounce silver rounds, and uh, we also have uh, five ounce bars and ten ounce bars, and so uh, we just had a, a limited run initially, and okay. uh, we took a few of them over to Europe, we went to a show in Munich, and uh, they certainly love their bullion over there, Yes. and so uh, just as a test run, we were, we were selling some of them, and uh, they were just going like hotcakes, I mean, they were really, really popular, and and then uh, we had a similar response in, in London a few days later. So uh, our intention is to sell them on the website and we're just setting up the uh, e-commerce uh, portion of our Perfect. website to be able right. to do that. And then uh, uh, investors, uh, shareholders will be able to buy them directly from the website. That's awesome. And and listen folks, okay, you can come right over to TFNN. You'll see the Great Panther Silver banner right there. You hit that banner. Um, the, the coin's absolutely fabulous. Uh, you heard the story, uh, bottom line is that there's nothing like um, digging more silver finding a lot more silver uh, right next to where you are. This, this, mm -hmm. Geology is a beautiful thing, isn't it? It is, I love it, but then I'm a geologist. So. No, you, know, <laughs> you know what, but I've been learning so much in the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. That's why I asked you about the, the vein structure, because I think people really want to understand, like, people know now that it's about resources. I mean, yes. I think everyone yeah. knows now. Uh -huh. But then it's like, okay, how does the rock turn into a mineral, or right. vice versa, yeah, and sure. then what is it good for? Right. And, and we know mm -hmm. silver has yeah. huge amounts of use. Oh, it's it huge. does, yeah, and they're growing all the time. I mean, yeah. Silver has a, an amazing future, it really does. You know it's amazing, think about it for a second, that we always thought that when the, the Polaroid cameras, when the cam cameras right. went out, yes, the film yes, went that out. That was the end of silver. That was, yeah. like, oh, it was only the sure. beginning, yeah, right? Exactly. I mean, really between was. the RID yeah. tags, mm -hmm. RFD yeah. tags, between the technology, yeah. between the, the conductivity. Water yeah. purification, all kinds amazing. of stuff. Amazing. Well, Bob, thanks so much, great being Thank you, you again. You know, we really do appreciate the support. Thank you. Okay, this is Tom O'Brien. This is Bob Archer. This is a TFNN. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it. Step into it, take ownership of it, and flower it. Thanks for being here, folks.